Hey, what's crack a lack in wolf pack? A woo, swoop. I'm a bird of prey. I'm a wolf bird of prey, sweeping down to... I'm a, I'm a kestrel wolf hybrid. Please do the fan art. And I'm sweeping down to grab a a, a, a... a vulnerable rabbit. Except the rabbit is me stealing content. It's me stealing content to watch uh, instead of generating any kind of original contribution, providing anything to the internet other than just a recycling of things that have already been for my own financial and creative benefit. Bang. I really don't want anything with teen and tormented in it though, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that one. Didn't think very critically about that the first time around. I'm gonna try and find something that I can... Ah, wow, my recommendations really aren't helping me out. Truly at all. Uh... This is a kind of on theme, huh? Then this... Mm. Ah, see this? This. This I like. This is a little bit of mystery. Don't so much like that it's 11 full minutes long, but like this is a little bit of mystery. <coughs> hey kids, what are you up to? Just sitting. <laughs> this is what a hobby was in like the, 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 the 50s, by the way. Having a hobby was just sitting in a chair for a while. Hey, baby girl. Daddy, I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Oh, is that his wife? Oh no, I was, oh no, okay, sorry, it's, am I wrong? She seems like a child. Am I crazy? The, <laughs> my seat has started lowering as though I am ashamed. Three. What do you mean? Mommy didn't cook before she left. Hmm? Mom left this morning. That's a child. I didn't mean to dislike the video. Oh my God, I am so sorry, Vin Diesel or whatever the name was. She go? We don't know. She had bags with her when she left. She had a couple of bags marked for my new boyfriend. She was shipping them and the address was far away from my children. What do you mean she had bags with her? It's the lightning pace. That's what makes these videos work. It's the punchy lightning pace, not a not a dull moment. We rang every every moment out of these 11 full inescapable minutes. Goodness gracious, just nothing is happening at all, huh? Just really, just real. it's like a documentary. Hey, honey. Uh, what's going on? Um, the girl said you actually left this morning with some bags. Hey, what's up, girl? Mm, hey, don't leave me with bags. Mm, you're so hot. Is everything okay? All right. Uh, I'll talk to you here in a little bit. Love you. Bye. Sorry, I left you to find a better life. Then something happens. All right, let's get y'all something to eat, okay? Come on. Yo, I ain't here to I ain't here to bully kids, but goodness, is it fun? And I just gotta say, why 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 this girl looking like Annabelle? <laughs> what? Okay, maybe that was a little extreme, but she does look a bit like a haunted doll. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get y'all something. Clean your hat. <laughs> Shit, man, I didn't even notice. Another crazy day at the dirt mine. <laughs> hey kids, I'm finally, where's your mother around? I'm sorry, I'm late home. I was busy at the grime factory. <laughs> you need a full shot of people leaving the room and then entering the room, or else you wouldn't have known that they'd walked into the room. Uh, okay, um, what do you want to eat? Mac and cheese. Okay. I want pancakes. Mac and cheese and pancakes. Got it. Uh, I love you, Daddy. Huh, yeah, okay, cool. He's terrified of her. <laughs> I love you too, haunted doll. Um, Mom left a letter for you. Hmm. He does kind of look like Drake Bell. He does kind of look like Drake uh, does he look like Drake Bell, or am I a white guy racist? Probably the second one. It's the two fingers together emoji. <laughs> Sorry. I left husbands to find a better life, then this happens. I'm sorry I had to do this, but I had to start looking out for myself. I love you very much, and I love my girls to death. But I had to do it to him. But I deserve a better life. And I know you will take good care of them. We've been married for 20 years. We've been living from paycheck to paycheck. Downsize? <laughs> Move out of the Ritz Carlton, maybe. I met a man who promised to take care of me. Who promised me a better life. 
His name's Vid Chronicles. I finally found love. Then this happens. I really hope you understand. Mate, joke's on her. One of these kids, probably not the creepy doll because they'll never age. That girl right there, she's gonna become president. Dad? Are you okay? <laughs> what if, what if the, the sad music suddenly hard cuts? Like, and the dad just spins around and goes, Yes! <laughs> you aren't mine! You aren't my biological kids! P! Dives out the window. <laughs> Then this happens. I leave as well. Just the remaining nine minutes of the kids trying to cook for themselves. The dad. The dad just gives them the same letter. And changes it. Changes it to the kids. Why don't you, um... Why don't you, uh... Why don't you, uh, become, uh, president? Then I'll love you. I'll tell you what, uh, why don't you girls head off and become whatever the female version of a president is? Uh, the queen? You're a great man, Stephen. I just wanted more. What is this? What is this just chicken scratch handwriting? <laughs> I, I sort of feel like when these letters are written, they're, they're, they're supposed to have... They're almost like calligraphy, right? They're supposed to have this kind of mystique and, and romance to them because of how dramatic they are. Like, <laughs> I feel like she should be writing in cursive. Not like she's practicing her alphabet. By this. And if you are, I am terribly sorry. But there comes a time when we all gotta look out for ourselves. It's written like a kidnap letter. If you ever want your wife to see your strange Annabelle daughter, I don't know, do you? Nobody would. Throw her away. <laughs> That's what fixes a relationship. This girl becomes president and they just dispose of the other. They just pop her straight in the trash. They sell her to a thrift store or take her to a fire department for the doll corner. Daddy, any time now, this belly won't feed itself. That is, that is absurd. I'm sorry to throw shade at this kid, okay? That's gonna make me leave, mate. That's gonna put me on the air. It has been less than one minute since you demanded your mac and cheese. My friend, okay? We might not even have it in the house, okay? You need to calm down. I hate to say it, but you're about to be given to the fire department. Okay, um, right, um, I'm bringing it right over. Dad. Is mom okay? Uh, your, your witch mother, Enchantress, who created the smaller, scarier one, has moved out. And we're gonna have to rely on my, uh, uh my cocaine business. I'm the world's poorest drug cartel runner. She's fine. Why isn't she home? It's not like her. Read the room. Well, um... It's your fault. <laughs> something to do. She had something to do. Uh, Kyle, actually. She had to do Kyle, because uh, she had to find a better life. Uh, I'm here for you, okay? I love you. They have, they have exactly the number of plates they need for the meal. We at Vid Chronicles know what it is to be poor. That's why we shoot in this chic Airbnb, and we have exactly the right number of plates for the family. What the fuck? And the rabbit said, you can't have these carrots. These are my carrots. And the rabbit took the carrots, hid them in his chalk mine, and using the new resources gained by taking the carrots away from those that need it. I was not telling a tale, I was actually talking about. My career history, I used to be known as uh, the, the dust bunny. <laughs> Cause he's covered in dust. Hey, shut up, that's clever. And the wolf never bothered him again. <laughs> Daddy. We're, we're hungry. <laughs> we were just in the kitchen 30 seconds ago. Why, why are we here? Y'all get some sleep, okay? Showing them some of his uh, Reddit posts. That's all he was doing. Uh, yo, why does the camera person keep falling asleep? You can just cut or fade. You're allowed to do that. Oh my God, look what she posted. It's the dad's Reddit posts. Oh my god, this one's so- look at this one, this one's so cringe. This don't get no updoot from me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Very different energy, very different- shoutouts to costuming. They've given him a very different energy by simply taking his dirt-based baseball cap away, layering him up in a hop-on-the-edge jacket. Wait, 
What's this? You know what I mean? So this is going to be the this point, isn't it? He doesn't have money, or, or no, or the dad does. He killed and raided one of the rival chalk bosses and took over the empire or something, right? Looks like a sad dog from a cartoon. <laughs> Does she not have peripheral vision? <laughs> did he not know what the husband looks like? How did that never come up? May I help you? Well, you look just like the guy I was looking at nudes of on my new girlfriend's phone. Molly. Molly, please stop sipping that purple drink. <laughs> please put down your lean cup for a second. How could you just up and leave us like that? We've got two kids to feed. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I keep trying, but the mac and cheese while I'm stirring it gets too hot. I'm holding the biscotti in my hand and I'm putting my hand over the, the open flame and it hurts too much. How do I make it the food? How do I make it the spaghetti? And not that you care, but the house is being foreclosed. I don't understand how you can just up and leave me and your two little girls. She's seen a bunch of Thawman videos, but doesn't get it. <laughs> She saw a bunch of them and she's like, oh. She doesn't finish them. She's like, oh, this lady left for a better life. Now she's rich. Sick. All right. I'll, I'll get on with that. I know we've had some, some difficult times and you have hurt me. But you didn't only hurt me this time. You hurt two little girls. I hope you're happy. You said you never had kids. I'm sorry. I didn't think you would want a woman who has kids. They're gonna get married. The two chalk magnates of Cloud Town, Cloud City. You leave your kids and your family behind to please a man? Uh, preach, girlfriend. <laughs> Tell me about it. I know it's wrong, but I'm tired of struggling. So you thought that I would be the one to pick you up, right? Look. Do they always have to film inside a wind tunnel, by the way? Do they always have to film at rush hour? That's not the woman I want to be with. And if you could leave your kids behind, what are you going to do to me in my time of need? Well, I'll leave you for cash. No, like, like a Darman video. You're being very dramatic. Richard, it's not like that. Of course his name is Richard. Oh, we should have guessed. That's such a good choice. No, the state's over. Oh, they're not even like moving in together. Oh, she had not even established a rela- She literally left to go on a date with her bags? I'm co I'm very confused. She just kind of moved out anyway. She didn't meet somebody. Okay, this is very different. She bet the farm on this one. <laughs> she literally bet their house, as, but except she wouldn't have won anything. She just allowed her family to be foreclosed on, on the chance that maybe she meets somebody interesting. Respect. Girl boss moment. I regret having met you. Tell me about it. I've abandoned my family and allowed them to fall into poverty and abject danger. Oh, cringe. <laughs> R slash, today I fucked up. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name's Richard Money, and as you can see, I too have acquired a, an ambiguous material upon my, upon my very trousers. And I was wondering if you, sir, would be interested in going into a venture with me. Look. I know the way that we met wasn't the best of ways. I just want you to know that I had no idea she was married. I didn't even know she had kids. I wouldn't date somebody with kids. <laughs> I'm not a freak, dude. <laughs> this is him revealing that he thinks he's a good guy. I had no idea she was poor. <laughs> My mistake. I had no idea she was white trash. <laughs> you can have her because I'm a good guy. Look, I just want to say I'm sorry for everything that happened. It's fine. You know, I mean, I don't blame you. She made her decision. But if you don't mind me asking, how old are your kids? I do mind you. I very much do mind you asking that question, my friend. Leave me and my family alone. Don't ever talk to me or my creepy doll child ever again. Well, Sarah, our youngest, is six. Though, technically, she's the spirit of an eldritch demon that's older than time itself. But, you know, she's been with us for six years, ever since she... Uh, absorbed the cuddle me Elmo <laughs> that our other daughter had. Oh my god! What was this? What? The number? The number six? Whoa! 
Which one is that? I simply count by uh, the, the, uh, my denims. I count one as a denim. My name's Richard Cash, and I run the United States' largest denim tearing administration. You can tear your own denims with my proprietary weapon. <laughs> my jeans tearing weapon. Six. That sounds like a age that's young. And Leslie. The oldest, she's... she's 12. Ugh! <laughs> oh, that's insane! That's a number as well! Is that... that reminds me of the 12th pair of jeans I ever sliced up. She left a six-year-old behind? It's fine. You know, I'm... I'm bouncing from job to job right now. <laughs> it's been like 12 hours. <laughs> bouncing from job to job, and I was working in chalk, and then I was working in dust. And as you, as you can imagine, a few hours later, I managed to drift into the, what is it, a uh, cocaine industry. That's doing okay. I'm making a little scratch on that one. It's been three months, but we're doing okay. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of work do you do? <laughs> I'm into jeans cutting. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I, I don't mean... No, 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 I'm not meaning to challenge you. I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it's not gonna make me rich, but it pays the bills, so we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be just fine. I'd like to offer you a job. You can be a model. All you gotta do is give me a kiss. Company just down the road. I have an office that needs a manager. Even if you're not qualified, we can train you. I'll start you off at $8,000 a month. What did you say that he did? <laughs> what was the career? Because I'll give it a swing. Look, I own a real estate company just down the road. That's right. It's an office manager job that, that, that pays almost $100,000 a year at first higher level. First level report. In fact, you don't even, you're not even reported at any point. You instantly go to manager. You make $100,000 a year. Well, why would you do that? Because I believe you're a great man. I mean, after hearing your story, you're you're bouncing from job to job, and you have two children, and your wife sucks. It's enough for me. Uh, anyway, come on down. Two weeks later. Hey, um, so we did a criminal record check. A lot in here about the being the what is it? A uh, oh, the Zodiac killer. Yeah, <laughs> guilty. Sorry, cringe. Men like you. Men who put their families first. Men who choose their families over- God, it is the same sh It is the same. We're barreling toward- Hold on, everyone. We're barreling towards the same trite moral message at the end of the video. Whether you had to give your son away, which was a selfish move, no matter the context, I guess, and then they became president or, and for something, and you're good for saying sorry, or your wife leaves and you've, it leaves you financially destitute, although you kind of already uh, uh, seem to be. And the house is being foreclosed. I guess they owned the house. Yeah, if they rent the house, they don't <laughs> your landlord doesn't foreclose on the house if you can't pay the rent. So they owned the beautiful house. I respect that. It sounds great, you know, and, and I really do appreciate it, but I don't think Molly would like that. Molly? She's in the past. That's what he calls anything that's behind him. He turns around to look at her. Oh, no, wait, she's in the future. Oh, she's back in the past again. Oh, she's ha She's to the exact same amount of time. I could never date a woman like that. She doesn't even make $100,000 a year. When do I start? You start tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. I'll train you myself personally. All right. It's just the letter from his wife again. <laughs> just starts laughing at him. I got you. I'm not gonna hire an, an unqualified man. And you've got kids? Yuck. I'm not hiring somebody with kids. See you tomorrow. Hey. You keep being a great father. God's gonna bless you. Thank you. Okay. Well, if you subscribe to the idea of God, I'd say you already got the blessing, buddy. I don't think you just went to confront your ex-wife, or current AWOL wife, who I guess stayed pretty nearby. She she didn't move out of uh, construction town. And then all of a sudden, you were just immediately given a very, very generous salary for a job you're not qualified for. But God's gonna bless you one day. He's gonna send your children away so that you don't have to be some loser with kids. The moral of the story is... I didn't see the, I didn't see the, the subby. Totally. Let's take a, a wild guess. The moral of the story is uh, when you're a family, 
families, you know, families are related, aren't they, in a way? And being related is familial, and it's familiar. <laughs> so when, the, when you're being a f the families that you are, being today. Remember that it's not always about being the what is not it today for the being the and you're related and that's what matters and you maybe you'll become president or something. The pressure of family endures together will make them stronger. Never link once. Please. For abandoning your family. Oh thank god. Okay, she's human. Girls. Always, always put family <laughs> not speaking in tongues. Thank you for watching and make sure to like I'm Ved and he's Chronicles. Well, success. Mission accomplished. We got him, boys. Uh, whatever the opposite is of that COD meme where they said, we'll get him next time. We got him this time. Victory Royale. Ding! Swoop -de swoop -de swoosh. The crack of the bat. You nailed it this time and you, you haven't failed me so far. I didn't like these particularly at all. Didn't. <laughs> I don't know if Darman's got a little bit extra, extra, extra spice. I don't know if he's got a little bit extra, uh, a little extra cumin to his videos, but these just draining, <laughs> just truly draining content. Much like all of you watching, I love you unconditionally, and I would kill for you. And the best thing of all is the moral of this story is if you interrupt the video that you're watching enough times, there's a pretty good chance that you'll be able to split this single video watching session into two separate videos that you release on your YouTube channel. Because what that allows you to do is effectively ride the algorithm as it captures onto one video that performs well. If it doesn't, then you produce a video perhaps with a, a collaborator and that will give a boost to your channel and then you utilize the friendships that you have made and the people you care about in the world for, for cash and profit and success. And that and... Um, what am I doing? Oh, families. You, you, family, you're related to them or something. My heart is focused on bob cuts and out of our long cuts and retakes, redub my remakes. Mistakes I won't make like mistakes. A full boss punch him, boy, then we replay.